Hey guys, we are making my favorite sausage meatball recipe today. Welcome back to Never Tasted Better. My name is Sarah. These meatballs are my favorite because they're jam-packed full of fresh ingredients. They have plenty of flavor and you can prep them in advance and freeze them ahead of time if you wanted to. They're very easy to make. They only take a few minutes to whip together. Nothing compares to these delicious meatballs. If you want to impress a guest, then make these for dinner. My mouth is watering just thinking about them. Let's go ahead and get started. Ingredients are one pound Italian sausage, half of a sweet onion, one large egg, one cup of panko breadcrumbs, three tablespoons of water, red pepper, half a cup fresh Parmesan cheese, three garlic cloves, a few tablespoons of fresh basil and fresh parsley. First, I'm going to chop up all of my veggies. So I'm going to take only half of my sweet onion and dice him up until he's in really fine, small pieces. Once our onions are diced, let's go over to a skillet and over medium heat, add some olive oil and add in your onions once the pan is hot. Let them cook for about four minutes. Back to the cutting board, we're going to mince up three cloves of garlic, make sure they're diced up really fine. Once our onions have cooked for about four minutes, add in your garlic. Also, we're going to add in a few shakes of red pepper. Saute this for about one minute and take it off the heat. I'm going to shred my Parmesan cheese. I want about a half a cup. Now you can grate it, but I like those big pieces of Parmesan cheese in my meatballs. So it's up to you, whatever you prefer. Grab your fresh basil and your fresh parsley and we're going to mince a few tablespoons of each. You can use the seasonings that come in the jars, but let me tell you, you can tell a difference when you use fresh ingredients. In a large bowl, start breaking up your Italian sausage into smaller pieces. Now this is not my favorite part, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like to touch raw meat that much. I need to get a pair of gloves, that, that would come in handy. You can use sweet Italian or hot Italian, whatever you prefer. Both work great for this recipe. Crack one large egg, add that in. Also only a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Start squishing the mixture together until it's completely blended in. Add in the other half of your panko breadcrumbs and squish it again. Once the mixture is combined, add in your Parmesan cheese, also your fresh herbs. Remember, don't do too many of the fresh herbs. You want probably about four to five tablespoons all together. Squish it up again until it's completely combined. Your onion mixture should be cooled off by now, so add that in, squish it up again. Yes, we're doing a lot of squishing, but like I said, it's definitely worth it. Add in three tablespoons of water and squish it one last time. This is the last time we're squishing it, I promise, guys. So now that our mixture is all set, we can start shaping it into meatballs. Each meatball size had about two tablespoons of mixture in it. So make sure you shape them into beautiful ball shapes. And these guys are going to chill out in the fridge for a little bit, probably about 30 minutes. We want them firm so they're not falling apart when we're getting a sear on them in the pan. Once they've had their time in the fridge, start heating up a pan, add some olive oil, and put about six to seven meatballs in your skillet. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. I love the sound these meatballs make when they cook. The key to a good meatball is getting a golden brown sear on all sides. You want that crunch and the soft interior of the meatball. Line a cookie sheet with aluminum foil, spray it down with olive oil spray. Once your meatballs have been browned on all sides and they're smelling amazing, they're ready to come off the heat. Transfer your meatballs over to the cookie sheet. Repeat this process with the rest of your meatballs. And once they are all on your cookie sheet, they're ready to bake. We have our oven preheated at 400 degrees. Bake them for 10 minutes. Jack abandoned me for the TV. He went and watched Peppa Pig with the kids, so whatever. 
I made a garlic parmesan sauce to go with these meatballs. If you want the recipe, click on the description box below. After 10 minutes, our meatballs are fully cooked through. They smell delicious. Like I said, if you want to impress somebody, make these meatballs for dinner. One of my favorite way to serve these meatballs is with buttered egg noodles. Yes, buttered egg noodles paired with that white garlic parmesan sauce. So delicious, guys. Your family will love this dinner. Normally, I do a lot of desserts on my channel, and I decided to switch it up a little bit. I love to cook and make dinners, too. This is one of my favorites. It smells so good in here. This is the perfect plate of meatballs right here. Mm. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!